Hi. In this video today, I would like to show you how to organize the task list in Microsoft Project. Okay, let's get started. I assume this one is a project plan I will be using in this video. Okay. And you see here, this is very long. Let me to connect something here. You don't need to click on the summary tab here to connect it. Okay, if we take a look into the tab uh, 25th here, yeah, you see here, the development task. And in the development task, we have some the subtasks like review functional spec and other tasks here. We have another task like testing and training. Yeah. So here. Actually, the testing, it will be the same level with the development here. And also the training is on, it would be the same with level for 25th task. It seems we are putting it in the wrong place. Let me bring it back. So, for example, for now, if you are going to collapse the development task, the testing and training will be disappear. And let me open it back. And then you select the task, testing and training. You navigate into the menus underneath the task. You go to the schedule section. In the schedule section, we have the out end, out end task and in end task. So here, I will click on the out end task. And I will collapse the development task. So here, after we collapse the development task here, you can see the testing and training task is not disappear anymore. That means for now the development testing and training it will be the same level. Okay, so for example, for scoping, this is scoping and pilot. Yeah, I will move this task to the top. I want to group the scoping and pilot into a group. Let me select the pilot and scope. So when you connect and select the parent task, all of the child task will be selected as well. Okay. And you navigate to the insert section underneath of the task tab here. You click on summary. It will help you to create a new summary task. I will have a planning. Okay. For the analysis, software requirement, and development, I will be putting it into execution. Okay, three tasks here. Execution. Executed. Okay. Cool. For deployment and post implementation review. For example, if you think here for the documentation and training, and if you think the doc documentation, it should be the subtask of the training. You can select the documentation and then click on the indent on the menu, indent task. Yeah. So now the development task will be the try task of the training. That means when I collapse the training, the documentation task will be disappear. Okay. Okay. And here all the tasks will be collapsed. In case if you want to open this all, you can go to the view and click on outline. And you select the own subtask. After you select, select the option on subtask, that means all of the tasks in this project plan will be appear. Okay. Otherwise, we have some the filtering. We have the level one until level 10. 
are a little bit different nice. So, if I select level one, you see all the level one tasks will be appear. The same thing when I select, select level number two, all of the number two level will be appear. Level three, level four, okay. And high sub that. Ooh. Okay, all right. So I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to do some organization for the task list based on some tasks in the plan. I hope this video will have fun for you. Let me know if you have any question. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you guys in the next video.